is starting. I don't know if you guys have been following our, our aviary journey, trying to build this big enclosed area for our peafowl, our pheasants, our mandarin ducks, but today and this week, we're getting a legit pond built by some local aquascape contractors. And I am so excited, and this just got really real. That rocks are gonna really transform this place, and they're gonna do a lot of digging today. Ooh, I gotta tell you about this one. This is gonna be exciting. Four years ago today, we started with a sketch and a dream to build an aviary for our peafowl pair, Blaze and the red golden pheasants, and our eight mandarin ducks. To have a large space to fly and live free from predators. We started it all with a deck and a coop that the birds could go into, raising walls, a roof, and rough sawn lumber to give them a retreat. Then we installed 30 foot power poles to put netting over so the birds would have plenty of space to fly. Then we needed the outer fencing. We had a fencing company from the UK ship our equipment and we had to wait nearly a year for it to get to us. So last year we spent time every day installing each piece of outer fencing, including some massive gates so we could still get vehicles and equipment in from time to time. And then we dug a pond that we thought might work a big hole in the ground with a drainage pipe along with well water to fill up the pond and drain it when the ducks got it messy. Then Blake at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch put us in touch with Aquascape, pond experts that knew how to make natural ponds. And they had us fill in the pond that we had built. So today and all this week, we have a large crew of people at our farm to build the most epic duck pond you've ever seen. So I'm here with Dan with Go to Earth Water Gardens and he's kind of helped organize all of this and come up with the master plan for all of this. So how did this all come together? It, it came together, I mean, I remember back, it was in the winter time, mm -hmm. Jake, you uh, were contacted by Aquascape, I guess, and we came out and met, and you had had this pond already pre-dug, which you were gonna kind of do something, obviously for this aviary for the birds. We kind of came up with a design that was pretty similar to the shape of the pond that you had, but we added some extra filtration components that we'll go over probably later in this video yeah. that are really gonna help keep the water clear and uh, maintenance more at a minimum too. So right now we've got Brad with Nature's Image. We'll introduce you to him in a bit. And what's he working on here? Because he, he worked back here at the back and I was showing a little bit of digging out our, our pipe that went. What's he working on now? So right now we have a sloped area for this hill. So what we're trying to do, because water is level, uh, we can't build a pond on a slope. We need to level everything out. Because what so. what would have happened if we did it on this this slope? What would have happened with the water? Well, you just would have had a big. Your water would have been, you know, down in this area, and you'd have a big ledge. So what we're essentially doing, we're we're excavating for the shape of our pond. We're also going to create a series of shelves to almost create like a retaining wall area. We're just going to call them boulder outcroppings. Okay. Um, but they're gonna kind of hold back and retain a lot of this hillside too. And that's also gonna give form to a cascading waterfall. So our waterfall is gonna start kind of at the top of this hill, cascade into our constructed wetland, and then it's gonna overflow into another series of cascading waterfalls that will go into the pond here. So the pond level will be somewhere, probably the water level will be kind of where his tracks are on this machine. Uh -huh. And um, that will be the shape of the pond, but then you'll have boulders kind of holding this area back. And if we didn't have those boulders, you would just have excavated soil, which would eventually just collapse and okay. cave into the pond too. Okay. So that's kind of where we're at right now with uh, how this is taking shape and okay. there'll be a lot more dirt coming out of this hillside area too. But the cool thing about this is that this isn't gonna take weeks or months or a year. This is gonna be done this week. We, we have week. Week plural. <laughs> One week. Five days, yeah. Today's Monday, and it's gonna be done by Friday? Friday, that's what we're shooting for. <laughs> Woo, can't wait. Yes, it's gonna be exciting. All right, so our mandarin ducks, they have this little pool, this bowl here. That's our, our current pond for them. They get it dirty every single day. We have to clean it out every day. So when this pond is done, and we get to move into the aviary, this will change everything. And so we hatched out most of these mandarin ducks. We hatched them out oh, in 2019, so about four years ago. And then we added the white mandarins in 2020. And then they've been in that chicken tractor ever since. So getting the peafowl pheasants and mandarin ducks into the aviary in the next month or so gonna be amazing. So earlier this year, or was it last year, when we dug out this pond, we put a trench in 
and this was gonna be the way to clean out the pond. And so we had a, like a butterfly valve in here that we could open and close and we could let the water flow out. Well, they don't need it for this pond. It's gonna be totally covered with a pond tarp. Um, so they don't need anything that's going into it that would cause a leak in the pond tarp, but they are gonna find a use for it. So I'm really relieved for that because we did spend a lot of time and money to put it in. And so they're gonna move it back some and then they're gonna create uh, an opening up at the top and so it'll be like an overflow section so if it, if it rains then it will drain down into and then it'll take it down the hill so it won't be actually used for the pond itself but it'll be an overflow to keep this from being muddy all right so i'm here with brad from nature's image aquatic design and you're working here in the excavator and we've already got this pipe out of the ground that we right. had put in before and you're starting to move things around what's the what are you doing and what's the, the goal here today? So right now, working with the other guys and the crew, I'm excavating the pond out right now. We got a lot of grade change from up there to down here, so I'm really getting this shape of the pond, still in some dirt, and try and get this grade to where we want the grade down on this end. Mm -hmm. So once we get that grade and I get my level where I want, we're going to start digging in the intake bay for the pumps and really start getting this pond shaped out. Awesome. Pond itself, we should have everything excavated in about five hours, okay. five to six hours. So, you, you know, typically a day. Um, okay. Our goal is to get this excavated today and get our pond liner in so we're ready to start rocking tomorrow. All right. Yeah. No pun intended. No pun intended. No, start rocking. <laughs> So this is creating like the stair step? Yeah, so this is the water line of where the water's gonna okay. be. So now we can start forming our shelves. We'll have some shelves and boulders okay. be set outside and then some shelves and boulders be set here too. Okay. What are you doing? Cleaning rocks. Okay. So is this the bottom the bottom of the pond? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm got got it excavated down to where I want our depth there, but I got a slope up here, so it's hard to t see it all from the cab. I got you. Okay. So I'm gonna have to take this side down. Okay. So right now they're working on a couple layers of the, the shelf of the pond. So there's a bottom part and then a second shelf. It'll be really fun when we're in there and we're able to walk around. We can actually get in, swim with the fish that'll be in there, with the ducks that are in there. A lower level that's maybe three to four feet deep. And then a second level that's a couple feet deep. They've got about half the pond dug right now. They've got the wetland filter that's coming together up above it. And then back here, He's gonna work his way out and then he'll work on the second half of it because he's gotten almost all the dirt up here to level this area out. So you can see these boulders that are holding up this back wall and then where it starts to drop off here. And then they just said they're working on a little beach area over here. So some of the other areas, it'll be a, a sharp edge drop off into the water. And then over in this beach area, all of the birds will be able to just walk up and, and take a drink. The water will come up that way it's gonna be so cool. So these boulders, of course, they're amazing and we've been just in awe of them, but they serve a very real purpose in being a retaining wall for this pond. This is the area where this gets level from the far side of the pond. And so literally the water level is just a little bit below the top of these rocks right here. And so they've got to get everything level to that because it's so much higher up over there. And so while it's a retaining wall and it serves a purpose, it sure is fun for our kids to run around and play on. So for a few minutes while they're taking a break on the excavator, I told them to, okay, to check that. them out. Yeah, <laughs> this is so fun. We both rolled. You I've rolled? I've been trying to stop him. Oh boy. And him, him being doing this. And it makes me fall down. I'm making a slide. Slide, slide. Look at my couch. This is your couch? Yeah. It's a pile of dirt. Yeah. I mean my couch.
All right, this is perfect timing. Everybody just took off and Becky's heading in here. She hasn't seen any of this yet. And so now she'll be able to see the scale of this pond and it's gonna be legit. Here we go. What do you think? Oh, wow. So that's the top part? Yes. Oh, that's way more than I thought. And then the bottom part. That's as big as we had it. Yeah, that's definitely as big as we had it. It's almost the exact same size. It's it's exactly where we put it too. And then we did it shaped like that, the bean shape just like that. Yep. Ah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> they just added the shelf. We didn't have the shelf. We they had the shelf didn't. in here. We had it straight down. Yep. This looks cool. I'm glad they can use our pipe too. Come back in here and look at these boulders. Oh wow, so they're gonna put like a retaining oh, wall. Yeah. Cool. How much fun is this going to be for the kids to run around on? Oh gosh. This is definitely going to help with the mowing. And yes. the plants and rocks in between here? It's I don't know. I don't know yet. The animals are going to love this. This is fun. So then tomorrow they're going to trench these pipes from the very bottom. They're going to bring pipe up from the bottom and then run to the top and it'll bring the water back in. And then this wetland filters where everything's going to, it's going to bring in all the duck poop and then it's going to seep down down below and then the water is going to clean itself and then there's going to be a series of like three waterfalls that go between here they'll start working the, on this part some amazing waterfalls and i think this might be the area where they would put the rocks they're going to put some stepping stones across here so you can walk across i think is where it's going to be at oh this, this the is water all, will be flowing through here so it'll just, just be flowing through so it'll be much more rocks. shallow yeah so that's day one of our build. How exciting is this? The next couple of days are just gonna get crazy with the amount of people in here, the amount of rock, boulders, equipment is gonna be moving all over the place. Wow, this is gonna be crazy tomorrow. And if you guys are interested in having a pond built like this, wherever you live, there's a link in our description to find the nearest certified aquascape contractor in your area. So be sure to check that out. So thank you so much to Dan and his crew from Good Earth Water Gardens for being here, for Brad from Nature's Image, Aquatic Design, and for Aquascape for putting this all together. This has been amazing. We'll see you guys tomorrow. You made it out here. Can you climb up? Come on. <laughs> Whoa! You all right? Yep. Go the other way. Ah.